David Humphreys in a non-title fight against Ronnie the Diamond De Leon with a title fight possibly hanging in the balance later on. It's next on ESPN. Super welterweight champion David Humphreys could be on the verge of having to give Ronnie De Leon a shot at the title. De Leon would have to win tonight and the title shot would come a little later. Who will win? Let's find out as The Rock goes against the Diamond. Here's our ring announcer, Charlie Derrick, with the introduction. Brace yourselves, kickboxing fans. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the super welterweight division and involves two reigning champions. Our referee is Tom Schlesinger. Introducing first, in the blue corner from Corpus Christi, Texas, the North American welterweight champion, weighed in at 152 pounds even. This man is undefeated in 14 bouts as a pro, with eight victories by knockout. The always exciting Ronnie Diamond De Leon. His opponent in the red corner is from Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Weighed in at 156, has a fine 34 and two record with 18 big knockouts. He is the reigning WKA super welterweight champion of the world. David The Rock Humphreys. Well, you certainly get a feeling that there's something very special about this fight as the rock fights the diamond and again with a chance by de leon to get a shot at that belt worn around the waist of david the rock humphreys what happens in this particular fight although it is non-title if de leon wins this fight within 90 days humphreys has to put his title on the line and fight for the title so for de leon this is a big fight we told you at the outset of the program tonight that david humphreys is a man that's very, as a matter of fact, very happy to even be alive after catching a 357 Magnum in the chest. Bob Perry has been working on a story all day, and we'll get to that before the night is over. It is Humphreys is a guy from his hometown of Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Doesn't take a lot of guff off of anybody. And tonight he'll try to see what he can do against De Leon. You heard the current reigning North American champion and third ranked in the world in that super welterweight division. This is again the non-title fight as we're ready to go. They're set for eight. This is round one. De Leon again in the black with the diamond stripe, if you will, down the sides. And the black with the red stripe belongs to the champion, David Humphreys. Interesting strategy of this fight now. It'll be interesting to see because boxing a very strong part of David Humphreys particular arsenal and a good counterfighter is Ronnie De Leon. So we'll see if Humphreys takes it to him early and if De Leon can counter or if he elects to come off first. Humphreys the taller of the two. It appears to be even more than the two inches indicated. 5'10 for Humphreys and 5'8 for De Leon. Well, we were saying Humphreys uh, uses his hands a great deal. He's, he's opened up with the kicks. Now that sometimes is a ploy of kickboxers. They know they have to get eight kicks in. So sometimes they'll make sure right at the beginning of the round they get those eight kicks in. Then they'll start to settle in with the hands. By the way, you do not see kick cards at ringside. However, the referee is being informed of the number of kicks. And if a fighter does not get the eight, of course, they will have the point deduction. Exactly. But again, the cards are not visible to the fighters, but the referee is keeping... Instructions from the side and is passing it on to the fighters and their corners. Dale Cook, the middleweight champion, working with us tonight. Dale, pretty much as expected here in round one. Yes, both fighters are staying loose and trying to feel each other out. One thing I, I'm uh, noticed here, and that is DeLeon is definitely the faster of the two. De Leon made mention earlier today that he felt that Humphreys was very, very stiff, particularly the upper body. Said he did not, he didn't think he was as flexible as he needed to be, trying to get punches off with no hand speed. He felt. He's very. He looks. He looks even tighter today than he did in the gym yesterday. There's the bell to end round one. De Leon is a man that certainly knows what he has to do against David Humphreys. When we talked to him earlier, we found out just exactly what he was going to try to do, and we'll find out if it's working. Well, my strategy is to uh, just, uh, stick and move and dance around him every now and again inside, uh, you know, slug it out for a few seconds and just, you know, and move out of there because I know he's real strong, so I'm just going to have to stay away from him. So keep away from him indeed as Humphreys, again, as a man that he knows has a great deal. So far, so good, I guess, as far as round one is concerned, gentlemen. Yes, agreed. 
I think the first round did a lot to boost uh, DeLeon's confidence. He didn't get caught with anything tough. I don't think he's nearly as concerned now with Humphrey's uh, power. Stick and move away. And that's exactly what DeLeon was trying to do there, as you see him duck away. But some pretty good uh, flexibility and, as a matter of fact, versatility by Humphreys as he threw one kick and followed it with another as DeLeon was ducking away. Bell sounds, and we're underway in round two. On the left is the current super welterweight champion, David Humphreys. And the man who would like to have a shot at his title, Ronnie DeLeon. A non-title fight tonight, a win by DeLeon, and he would get that shot within 90 days. Keep in mind, DeLeon has not lost as a pro. He's 14-0. One thing DeLeon has going for him as well, if you see him use some good hand combinations, he works out with several of the top boxing prospects coming out of the Corpus Christi area. They have, of course, uh, Lupe Suarez down there. Uh, uh, the Warren brothers are from there. Benavides, a lot of outstanding boxing talent come out, and he does spar a bit with them. He also works on the kicks a little bit, Sam, as yes, you can does. see. He mixes up the low kick with the high kick very well. And well, there's something I've never seen. <laughs> he stepped on Humphrey's foot, and as Humphrey's backed up, his, his shoe came off. And time is called by the referee, Tom Schlesinger, to get it back on, and they will get that on as Robert Ng works with him in the corner. Might be a good time to try to tell this story as briefly as we can. We're talking about this gunshot wound. We're going to go to a slow-mo here. There's where he stepped on it. And again, keep in mind that David Humphrey's took a 355 Magnum shot in the chest. Yeah, the brief of it is, uh, unfortunately, a gentleman went uh, a little berserk in North Carolina. He'd shot five people. Humphreys ran up to the car. The guy reaches out, puts a 357 Magnum in his chest, squeezes off around. Humphreys grabs the guy, knocks him out. The guy's girlfriend's getting into it, knocks her out. And then he finally decides, whoa, that hurts. He drives himself to the hospital. Drives himself to the hospital. When he wakes up, he's got a fight in two weeks, all these IDs in him. He tears those out. Runs over to his coach's house. He says, hey, coach, I'll be okay. <laughs> this guy is just unbelievable. The Shot fort. him in the right chest, came out through the back. The fortunate part of it, it was indeed in the right chest. And another fortunate part with the 355 Magnum is the fact the gun was pressed to the chest. Had it been from any length, uh, this young man probably would not be doing what he's doing. No question. Not not he's put a Whoops, what do we got? He just landed, Humphreys landed a vicious roundhouse kick to the leg, and down went DeLeo. But he comes back with a kick in the, the face. Roundhouse kick. They've gotten the rhythm now. They're starting to get into a groove. De Leon fighting under the WKA rules is fighting only, I think, his third fight under these rules. So he still is so used to kicking above the waist that he's just starting to get the timing and the routine of the kicks to the lower body and to the legs as we end round number two. At De Leon down, our two experts, Bob Perry, along with Dale Cook. Gentlemen, you took a look at it. How about it? Was it knocked down or was it a slip? I think it should have been scored a knockdown. I don't know what the referee, I, I don't guess that he did, but it was an excellent shot to the legs and down went DeLeon. Because he came back right away with a, a kick of his own right to the face. Round three is underway of the schedule eight rider, non-title fight, super welterweight champion, David Humphreys. Trying to hold off Ronnie the Diamond DeLeon out of Corpus Christi. Humphreys out of the mountains of North Carolina, Kings Mountain to be exact. 26 years of age, as is DeLeon. Humphreys the heavier of the two by only four pounds, 156 to 152. Quality of the uh, fighters in the WKA, I've observed the last few years, these guys are just incredible. Excellent, excellent fighters. Dale and Bob, one of the things about David Humphreys, when you look at his one loss record and he's 34 and two, he has defeated seven world champions. Yeah, just incredible record for this man that himself is a world champion now. He's been in there against the best, and he learned from every one of those fights. Keep in mind, if you're joining us on WKA Kickboxing for the first time, the three-knockdown rule is in effect. In this non-title fight, a fighter can be saved by the bell only in the final round. Ten-point must system is our scoring by the three judges. Referee does not figure in that scoring. And in the event of an injury, the injury rule is in effect. Whoa, nice right. Both exchanging throws over the right up against the ropes. Now, Humphreys, you see what he likes to do, but you also see De Leon likes to counter. I think De Leon's well. getting the best of the exchange yes. off the ropes. Both taunting one another. Crowd's getting in behind it. 
think it's a fight now. De Leon knows for a title shot, he's got to fight and fight well tonight, and he is in round three. Excuse me, in round four. Closing seconds of this round. As they club away at each other at the end of the round. David Humphrey's the champion, along with Robert Ng. Let's find out if they're happy with what's going on through these four rounds with a challenger, Ronnie De Leon. Huh? He can't fight inside, can he? See, what happened, you hurt him, and what happened when you started hitting his body? You see him back up and hot dog? When they hot dog, they what? They hurt him. Where you need to fight at? Huh? Inside, huh? I told you that, didn't I? Huh? When you hit him to the Keep body. your chin down. You was digging inside. It hooks to the body. That hurt him. Just to the head. All he's got is old straight traditional punches with his stomach. That's all he's hit you with. He hit you, huh? What rounds is four coming up? I don't know. We can worry about coming that. Up. Seconds out. You only allowed two. So as we move over to Ronnie De Leon, along with Lynn Stringfellow, working in that quarter, you see they got him up off the stool and ready to go. Bell sounds, and this is round four. Ronnie De Leon. On the right is David Humphreys. David Ng indicating there, as you take a look at the ID on the two fighters, indicating he. Wanted a little more inside fighting there, Dale Cook. Is that good, bad, or the way you might want to see Humphreys fight? Well, I think that his best game plan is to get on the inside where he can use his power, but I think he was surprised in that last round as DeLeon fought very well off the ropes inside there. Crowd really enjoying themselves. You know, internationally, this is the uh, fastest growing sport in the world next to soccer. I might throw in the WKA in uh, October and November of this year, have title fights. If you're ready for this in England, Amsterdam, Paris, Australia, truly an international sport. Have we got our plane tickets for any of those? Or this, uh... We're working on it. Oh, okay. Humphrey's trying the uppercut. <laughs> That's the first time that he's tried that. You see De Leon slipping in with the left hand. And you heard Robert Ng in between the rounds indicating that that's just about what he felt De Leon had was the straight left hand, the straight right hand. Doesn't hook him that well. At least they don't feel that he does at this moment. De Leon starting to kick a little better the, to the lower legs. Good right hand, glances off the shoulder and the head of the champ. Oh, that was a real shot to the legs of Humphrey. Oh, Beautiful right think... high roundhouse kick. Right up to the head. Humphrey seemed to uh, take it okay. Doesn't look like he's stunned. De Leon is going high, low, high, low, into the legs, then up into the head. Going again, only about his third fight in WKA rules, going to the leg kicks. He's been so used to kicking above the waist. He said he's being worked on and worked on very, very well by a couple of his good friends who indeed have fought a lot of championship fights. And they end the fourth round here tonight. What about Kit? Ronnie De Leon, much appreciated by this Tulsa crowd, and as Lynn Stringfellow looks on and his conversation there. They're wanting him to really compete. They saw how the low kick and the high kick mixed together worked well. They want him to stay with that strategy. It's been a good combination for him. Yeah, he ought to stick with it. Trainers have done a good job. His manager's done a good job in uh, getting him used to that idea of the low kicks and following up immediately going high. They're very emphatic with whatever it is that they're telling Ronnie DeLeon over there in the corner. Yep. Well, DeLeon, they wanted him indeed to use some kicks, but he's also used his hands very well, as demonstrated by the replays in the last round. There's the straight nice left hand. Now, of course, he went with another part of his arsenal. Now, there's the low kick, and it bounced off the shin and right up into the head. Boy, he changed targets on that one. He was Just going like downstairs that. and slipped it upstairs very well. That's like a well. bank shot and pool. He hit the side, bam, right up into the head. This is an untitled fight. It's set for eight, and we're in the fifth round. This could be kind of a tough fight to score, Dale Cook, and the fact that both fighters have had their moments in the first four rounds, haven't they? They really have. It's, it's in uh, the way Ronnie's mixing up the low kick and the high kick, and then Humphrey steps in with the heavy body punches. It's, it's very hard to score. I think that uh, De Leon's picking up some momentum right now. He had, a, he had a real good fourth round. Now, 
combinations by Humphrey has Daly like on a low blow. Yeah. However, Daly on is known for his, his counter punches. He's got to try to get out of that corner. Avenue. Look at Humphrey's opened up on him. Got him over in the corner. Left slice to the body. Humphrey's really pouring it on now. Big left There's hand by Humphrey. There's a sweep. Inside sweep. Not a takedown. Interesting conversation by Tom Schlesinger to David Humphreys. That was quite a flurry by Humphreys. He got De Leon over in the corner and just started to go to work on him. You know, in defense of De Leon, though, a good counterpuncher, he threw some pretty good punches while he was taking some there. He exactly really did, it. and he came out of the clinch just like he did there with a vicious back leg roundhouse kick to the thigh. Yeah. Beautiful high kick by De Leon, followed by a left hook. There's good. that low kick again, right to the back of the thigh. And good hand combination by De Leon. Humphreys countered with one of his own. Good uppercut in the left hand. You can see in this fight a perfect example. The other organizations that don't allow the low kick are missing a lot of excitement. It really sets up the high kick, and it makes for a better action fight. Closing seconds of this, the fifth, and these fighters are not through yet as they're ready to go eight rounds tonight in Tulsa. Challenger on the right, Ronnie DeLeon trying to take advantage if he can to get a title shot down the road. At the man he's fighting tonight, David Humphreys. DeLeon knows he needs the victory to get that title shot, and he's fighting that way. And Humphreys knows he's in with a tussle as we go into the sixth round. Schedule for eight. Super welterweights here tonight. The champion is on the left. And the number three contender in the world and the current North American welterweight champion, Ronnie DeLeon on the right. Again, coming from De Leon's corner, as Dale Cook alluded a moment ago, they're trying to get De Leon to kick a little more, as he does there. He's got some nice sting in those kicks, as does Humphreys, of course. He's been pretty successful mixing the hands with Humphreys, but he's winning the kicking war uh, hands down. Excuse, pardon the pun. Uh, the pun, yeah. <laughs> no, the angle is, uh, is deceiving. Humphreys does have a, a big reach exam. Uh, advantage both with his arms and legs. Oh, beautiful left roundhouse kick up into the head of Humphreys. De Leon looks now, very sharp tonight. There was another example of the mix up. He put a left up into the head and then a right kick down into the legs. I tell you what, if De Leon comes on to win this fight tonight, you are going to look for World War III when oh, you these two bet. guys do indeed meet for the title if De Leon can come up with a victory tonight. Humphreys nice is the champion, and you know he's going to stay in there. There's the sweep kick. It almost knocked De Leon's feet out from under him. They exchange big left-right combinations. Humphreys getting the best of the last two. Straight left hand by De Leon. Swipping in a Good big right hand right by Humphreys. Yeah. Closing seconds of the sixth round. Spinning back fist just missing, and Humphreys Blading away at the end of the round. You got him in. I got someone talking. Ronnie DeLeon out of Corpus Christi, Texas, 26 years of age with a shot at a title, knowing resting on the fight. Ben Stringfellow just letting him get his breath at the moment. You can come back to the He will let him get in there. Don't let him you know you feel good, right? Huh? Huh? Action in that round, the sixth round. As again, Humphreys charging in, and there's that big overhand right. Big just nailed him. De Leon quickly trying to hold on and try to right himself there. They're set for eight rounds. Very important one minute rest here between the sixth and seventh. Seconds are out, and now it is man on man for the seventh round in Tulsa. Schedule for eight. This is the seventh. A non-title fight, despite the fact super welterweight champion David Humphreys is giving De Leon at least an open door for the moment. De Leon fighting well. Alternating his upstairs and downstairs kicks. Good punches. Countering well with Humphreys. Charges him on the ropes. Humphreys quite obviously the stronger of the two fighters when they do get in the infighting, but De Leon a little more skillful in there. 
And Dale, I have to go back to a comment that DeLeon shared with us earlier that he felt that Humphreys was very tight in the upper body, and you do see it when they're in the clinch. You certainly do. It takes him a while. He has to get his balance, and it takes, he's just a little bit slower getting off his punches than Ronnie is because he's so tight. DeLeon, who did not strike karate until 1976, a 26-year-old youngster. Fighting a man, David Humphreys, who says he likes to spar thousands of rounds if he can find the people to do so with. Good low kick there by Humphreys, followed it up, but DeLeon shot the right the overhand left, exactly. Humphrey's starting to show that strength now as he got Daly on off balance. He's a little stunned. I think he's okay. It was just uh, the foot sweep uh, threw his balance off a little bit. I think he's okay. Yeah, he'll be all right. Under 30 seconds to go in the seventh. It appears at the moment that we'll go to that eighth and final round, but nothing is certain. As Daly on tries to fight Humphrey's off, who lands some big combinations in the corner. Humphrey's really trying to lay it on now. Put Daly on the corner. Overhand right was good. Into the body. There goes a sweep and a right. A left. That looked like a, I heard him. A flurry will end round seven in Tulsa tonight. Daly on took some big shots here at the end of the seventh round as Humphreys got him right where he wanted. Daly on was trying to counter but could not. Short one, he looks okay. He took a heck of a shot. Here it is, that exchange at the end of the seventh round. There's a sweep. Overhead right. There's the left. Goes back and says, no, no, I'm okay. Bit of a different angle. There's the sweep. Got his balance. Right. There's the big left. Big indeed as Humphrey scoring with that left hand at the end of the round. They're encouraging Humphreys as the champion will be coming out of the eighth and final round. Back over to DeLeon. He knows that the last two minutes to give him a title shot or not. Well, these two fine fighters at the Tulsa Convention Center in the eighth and final round. The champion, super welterweight division, David Humphreys on the left, DeLeon on the right with a chance to get a title shot at Humphreys later if he can get a victory. And it's still, from our corner, still a little too tight to call. It is. On my unofficial scorecard, I had DeLeon ahead, but uh, Humphreys had a big round in the, in the seventh, so I think this eighth could decide the whole fight. Sam Smith along with Bob Perry and the current middleweight champion of the world of the WKA, Dale Cook, will be defending his title later on in the month of August. Leon being forced into those ropes again. Keep in mind, he's countered very well, and he comes out again. I can say they've got to let it all hang out. Maybe all this round. Harry Shivery, along with Jerry Beatty and Dale Harris, the three judges. I do not envy their job if this goes to the decision. Neither fighter wants it to go that far as they really, indeed, let it all hang out. Both fighters making sure they get their uh, allotted kicks in. They sure don't want to lose this fight on uh, not having enough kicks. We have had no problem so far through the first seven, and they have pretty well taken care of that. Nice left if you start up by De Leon. Nice shot. That was almost one of those Sports Illustrated shots with a perspiration flying yeah, on the head yeah. of David Humphreys. Another, Another left by De Leon. Oh, oh. Right kick to the head of Humphreys. This is Humphreys what kickboxing's right all about. This is indeed is the champion. Maybe on the verge of giving De Leon a Look chance at with these the title later. exchange. Humphreys with a combination. De Leon holding on in the final dozen seconds, and the crowd at Tulsa's loving it. Clock is running. They're wailing. They're going at it. And there it is. The fight is over. And now the judges will have to decide. Has Ronnie De Leon earned a shot at the champion of the Super Wealth Division? David Humphreys are not. They'll be tallying up the numbers. And we'll have that decision for you as both fighters have fought their heart out here tonight. WKA action at its finest. We'll be back with that all-important decision. Right. How 
it came out tonight. It was very close. The champion, David Humphreys, Ronnie DeLeon. How close was it? Here's our ring announcer, Charlie Derrick, with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Shivery scores the fight 77-76, Humphrey. Judge Beatty scores the fight 78-76, De Leon. Judge Harris scores the fight 79-79. It's a draw. Well, we said it was close. How close was it? You no can't get much here closer than that. Now we got a problem. <laughs> Does he get the title shot? I, I think, think he's entitled to it. Absolutely. He should get it. Well, of course, that'll be up into the decision of the WKA people. Mr. Howard Hanson, of course, will be involved in that as well. And I really feel with a draw here tonight, De Leon had to do two things. First of all, he had to come in and win. He had to come in and look good. He did just that. He got out of here with a draw. And now a chance of getting a title shot with Humphreys. So that's going to be one of the things we'll have to watch for. I think it'll be a war next time these guys meet. I hope the WKA together. indeed uh, sanctions that. Uh, you're right. It would be a battle. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. It was a draw. Well, on behalf of Bob Perry and our middleweight champion, Dale Cook, this is Sam Smith from Tulsa. Thanks and good night, everybody.